Hi everybody, I am Anjindra and this is what to play next. I could not be prouder of myself. I went out and I found you. I just, we collect what's legendary and here it is. Talisman, the digital edition. It's retro and it's retro. So let's check it out. You can play online. Like I just opened it. So I'm, I'm sharing my, my unboxing, my digital opening ceremony with you. New game. Character selection on this screen. You can set up a local game against any combination of human and or AI players. You can play with your friends. That's so cool. Change the player type by clicking the label next to the character card. Change a character by clicking on one now. I can make my son play with me over the internet. I made him play with me in real life. I actually went out and got a copy. This is the most epic game of all time. Oh gosh. Um, I guess we'll keep it simple and just be a troll. I mean, hack and slash it. All of the available characters are shown below. When you select one of the character's statistics and abilities are shown above. To play with a random character as per the original board game rules, select the question mark. Press the tick to select the character. That's strange. We always got to pick ours. You not need to roll the die in the cards unless you want to. If you choose to roll, you must accept the result. Whenever you roll a six to remove, you may regenerate instead of moving. That's why I always picked this guy when I played my brother. He's brutal. If you chose to regenerate, heal one life, and your turn immediately ends. Alignment neutral. Wow, they have like the extended edition characters. Sarajan. Begin the game with a shield. You do not lose life in the desert. Conjurer. There was like the dungeon add on. Swashbuckler. Well, like I said, keep it simple, stupid. I don't think that I have that unlocked yet, so. I don't have any ins expansion packs. I know I'm aware of this. Um, okay. Alternate endings, what is this? If characters on the current command, no other characters are present. Etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. No, we'll just play regular. Oh, okay, no, I want this to be me. AI player. I was supposed to click on mine and then click on him. I am like owning this already. I mean, be proud. Ooh, assassin. I remember that was one of the first add-on packs. Was the character pack. All right, let's see who goes first. Isn't that... Oh, okay. Well, that randomizes my character. I guess I'm a pirate. Reaper. Default ending. Okay. So how do I... um? New game. How do I go? Where's go? Go! Got nothing here. Okay, so... Alternate ending. Oh, it's... See how it's glowing? I'm a pro, people. I'm a pro. Back up, man. I'm a scientist. I'm actually a scientist, so I can use that. All right, forest roll one die, attack by a brigand. Graveyard based on alignment, good lose one life, neutral replenish. Object of the game is to reach the crown of command in the center of the board, and then by casting command spells force other characters out of the game. To reach the crown, you must find a talisman card by traveling around the board. I, there were times we made it into the center and you can't get back out. Or well, I guess, I think you can teleport or something, but like, you would get there and be like, crap, I didn't get the talisman card. Talisman board is split into three regions. You start in the outer region, you can move in either direction around the board. Across the Storm River is the middle region, and the center of the board is the inner region. Your character is shown in the corner of the screen. You can be selected to view more information. Craft, lives, gold. Next to your character's face is their alignment. I think I'm evil. Oh no, I'm neutral. You can view all cards held by a character by clicking their portrait. Your craft isn't high enough for you to gain spells. Oh right, I can't hold any spells as the troll. So let's roll the die. Four, so I can go here or here. Um, I don't have two gold to go to the inner circle, so we'll go to the city. Every space on the board tells you what will happen if you decide to move there. Read the space description below carefully before deciding to move. I, I did. Like, I know this game. I mean, not really, but... 
Visit the Enchantress. Okay, so I want to travel here. And I want to visit the Ch Enchantress. Um, obviously, I think I start with one gold or something, but I'm not. I'm not hurt at all. Discover, discard any number of objects. Continue. Let's do it up. And I'm pretty sure you don't have to visit her. So, ooh, I gained a spell. Uh-oh, what happened? Still got a six. Well, I'm gaining a spell either way, which I can't keep. Wonder what I used up there. End of the turn. You completed your turn. Play now passes to each player. So who do we have playing? All right. Margwin can choose to attack me. He goes to the enchanter instead. Margwin the minstrel. He lost a strength. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, he uses a fate and she turns him into a toad. That sucks. You can only move like one space. And I think you have like one strength, like anything can kill you. So she can fight one of them, or she can draw a card. Ooh, she decides to have psychic combat with a ninja. She's got four craft, so she might be able to take them. You get to pick when you're the one who lands, whether you fight with craft or strength. This really is the best board game. I literally have an actual copy of this. I'm um, like hard, the hard cover board, hard, hard board, the tabletop game. You know what I mean? Still bought it in, in digital. Chose not to encounter and study draws a wraith. Wraith fights him. Ooh, he needs a high roll. Change alignment. Oh, I forgot the wizard could do that. It lets him go to different, like in the graveyard. Um, I think you can like heal a life or something if you're evil. So you can change your alignment so that the spaces work for, for you. Instead, he gets a follower, which is an alchemist. Depending on what cards you draw, you actually get people that follow along with you and they lend you their abilities. Um, you can also discover things like, um, I think there's a prince that you can turn in at the palace and you get like six gold or something like that. You have objects which will um, give you basically like buffs, so that is awesome. Um, the axe I think gave him two strength, was it? Alright, we we're we are doing around the world here. Well, I obviously don't want to go to the chapel because I'm neutral. Well, I mean, it's not that I don't want to go. It just doesn't help any. So we're at a tavern. Let's party. Let's party down. Go ahead and encounter the space. What do I do at the tavern? What are we doing here? Get tipsy and fight a farmer with strength three. Well, I'm clearly going to own him because I'm a troll. Encounter many enemies on your travels. The fight with a strength base enemy is referred to as battle. Battle will start when you roll the dice. Press the dice to determine your attack roll. Blah, blah, blah and all the other modifiers so like if i had an axe or something or a sword it would give me a greater score but i have 10 so unless he rolls a seven <laughs> he's still done so mine is 10 and his is nine awesome this poor toad it's like the worst thing that you can do. Oh, and he has a follower now. That's adorable. I don't remember if you can have those when you're a toad. Oh, no, that was a random encounter. No, no, it's it's a follower. I take it back. He just can't have him. Let's see. Talisman. Oh, that must be one. She can move one space. Draw an adventure card. She encounters an ape. So they have the add-on pack. The original pack doesn't, for instance, have the ape in it. There were add-on cards that came out later, and then, like I said, add-on boards. So there was a dungeon, and I, there was something else, and I can't remember what it is. Um, those I do not have, obviously. We'll go one more round, and then I'll wrap it up. It's kind of like just a preview if you want severe awesomeness in your life. How great... Because, like, it's so awesome to play with other people that I figured it would work across an internet connection or it would work across a LAN connection where you can play with your friends or you can play by yourself if you want to get some table topping action in. It's, um, table topping is massively popular in a certain section of gaming, um, especially socially. So if you've never played it, I absolutely love this game. I would totally recommend it. 
card games are awesome. You know, like Magic the Gathering was so much fun. I love that they came out with Magic the Gathering Arena, but um, this board game just couldn't be beat. Board games in general are pretty, they're pretty fun to play as far as socializing goes. I just feel that the random encounters, um, when they're standardized like this, instead of having a DM or even a module, um, the, they're still random encounters, so it gives you that element of chance, but um, most of the board spaces instruct you to draw one or more adventure cards, contain creatures, events, that are items, press glowing adventure cards to draw one. All right, so I draw a line. It's standardized, um, so it's not a module, but it's um, still got that element of chance, which allows you to, you know, like have a drink and have fun and hang out with your friends. So obviously, I'm gonna fight the lion. If you draw an adventure card, you have the chance to use objects, to cast spells, or use special abilities before you actually encounter it. So I would, for instance, be able to use a sword, which is reusable, or I could use like a potion of strength. I think they have. Um, if I needed to buff myself up, but I kind of don't, so. Oh, he's, yeah, he's pretty much toast. I have a new carpet for my, you know, drawing room, so. Um, once you get a certain amount of kills, I think you get a one-up, I vaguely recall. So. Anyways, so you continue on along. You gain in um, followers, objects, things like that until you encounter a talisman and you're able to move to the inner sanctum. Obviously, um, you know, each of these denotes a place where events can happen. I mean, then when you land on other characters, you can fight them and take their stuff as well. So, um, like I said, it's kind of a completely different experience. It's not sorry. It's not, you know, um, tabouli or... Mancala or any of the things that you're kind of used to it was very much D, D based and I thought that it was awesome So this is going back about as far as you can go um, For table topping it. And I thought that I would bring it to you. It is available online um, You can still find used uh, I think entirely just used copies But used copies of the board game in real life if you do visit your local gaming store to tabletop So we are here for you at what to play next. Um, hopefully we found another one for you Tell your friends, drop us a like and subscribe so we can keep going out and finding awesome things and bringing them to you. Thank you for watching and as always, much love.